Hello, in this lecture we are going to learn how to connect to an EC2 instance in the private subnet. To connect to an EC2 instance in the private subnet, the first thing we have to do is download PuTTY. So let's open a new tab and type PuTTY, P-U-T-T-Y. And you want to select this second one that says greenend.org. Click that, then click download it here. Under the alternative binary, the files you want is the party file, the party.exe. You also want the page ant file, the page ant.exe, and the partygen.exe. And to download these files, all you have to do is click on whichever version you want, whether you want the 64 or the 32. And if you click on any of this, for example, let me click that page on, and it is going to download it to your computer and you can just click it to run it. So I already have these files on my computer. You can see them right here. I have the party gen, the party and the page on. That's the first thing. Once you have downloaded the party file, we can close this. And I'm going to close that. Then the next thing we need to do is go to our EC2 console. So under services, I'll select EC2 on that compute. Make sure you have a key pair. When I click on key pair, I have my EC2 key pair. And also on my EC2 dashboard, I have two instances for my last lecture that is running in the private subnet. To connect to any of this EC2 instance, we have to launch one EC2 instance in the public subnet. Then we will SSH into the instance we launched in the public subnet. Once we are in that instance, we can now SSH into the instance in our private subnet. And that's what we are about to do. To start, let's launch our EC2 instance in the public subnet. I'll launch an instance. I'm going to select the Amazon Linux AMI. It's going to be a T2 micro. I click next. And I'll select my VPC. And I'm going to put it in the public subnet 1, US is 1A. Remember, the EC2 instance you are trying to use to SSH into the instance in the private subnet has to be in the public subnet. So we have our VPC and we have our EC2 in the public subnet 1. Then we'll click Next to add storage. Click Next to add tag. Give it a name. I'll call it the Bastion because sometimes they call it Jumpbox or Bastion Host. Now click Next to add security group. I'm going to select the existing security group and I'm going to select my SSH security group. And look at my SSH security group. I have my SSH on port 22 and this is just for practice. Normally you want to limit the source of your SSH to your IP address. I'll click review and launch and launch my instance. I'm going to select my key pair, acknowledge and launch instance. View that instance and I'm going to wait for that instance to launch. While I'm waiting for my instance to launch, I'm going to open the party key gen, which is the one with the key. And it is going to open this. I'm going to load my key pair into it. And it's my EC2 key. I'm going to load it into it. Click open. My key is in there. Then I'm going to put a passphrase on it. And this password is just for extra security. And once you've put your passphrase and confirm it, then click save private key. And I can just override my original key. I'll save it on it. Click save. And I'll click yes to override it. So anytime I want to use this key pair to SSH into my EC2 instance in the private subnet, I have to enter this passphrase. So we are done with party key gen. Close that. The next one we are going to open is page ant. And it is this one with the cap. Double click it to open it. And when you open it, it would act as if nothing happened. But look in the lower right hand corner of your computer and you will see it in there. I'm using a dual monitor and it is showing up on my other screen. That's why you're not seeing it in here. But look in the lower right hand corner of your computer and you should see that page in there. So once you see it in that lower right hand corner, you can double click it to open it. And it is going to open this. Now we are going to add our key pair into it. I'm going to click add key. 
I select that my EC2 key pair. And now it is asking me to put in this passphrase. I'm going to enter the password that I created for the key pair and click OK. And I've added my key pair to the page end. And now I can press X to close that. Let's check whether our IC2 instance is up and running. I'll click refresh. Yes, our IC2 instance is up and running. Next, we are going to open Podi. It is the one with the computer to computer. Click on it. Then on that SSH, click on the drop down arrow. Select Auth. Then click on Allow Agent Forwarding. We'll check that. So once you check that, let's scroll up. I'm going to increase my font so you can see what's on my screen. Then on that session, what you want to do in here is type ec2-user at the public IP address of the EC2 instance we launched in the public subnet. So I'll select that EC2 instance and I'm going to copy the public IP address, which is right here. Once I copy it in here, I'm going to Type ec2-user at that IP address. Then once you type it, click open and click yes. So now we have SSH into the instance in the public subnet. From that instance, we are going to SSH into the instance in the private subnet. And to do that, all we have to do is let's pick one of these EC2 instance in the private subnet. I'll pick the first one. Both of these EC2 instances are in the private subnet. And you can tell because when I click on that instance to see the information, I don't have any public IP address, but I have a private IP address. For server 1B, it's also the same thing. I have a private IP address. I don't have any public IP address, meaning that those two instances are in the private subnet. Let's just pick one of this. I'll pick the server 1A. Then I'm going to copy the private IP address. Once you have copied the private IP address of the instance in the private subnet, we'll type SSH space, then we'll type ec 2 user at. Then we will paste that private IP address we copied. And once you press it, press enter. And it is going to give you this information. We are going to type yes and press enter. And now we have connected to that EC2 instance in the private subnet. And if you look, look at the IP address up here, EC2 user at IP address, and it is the same IP address as our private instance, meaning that currently we are connected to that EC2 instance. And this is how you connect to an EC2 instance in the private subnet. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.